everybody. I'm Diane Brady. I'm here with Alan Dershowitz, of course, noted trial lawyer, author of Get Trump and Professor Emeritus at Harvard. Alan, um, you've called the indictment against Trump the most dangerous indictment in America. Why is that? Well, it's dangerous in the sense that it's the first time in history that a candidate, a leading candidate uh, to unseat the current president of the United States has been indicted by the current president's administration. So as I said before, I saw the indictment. This better be the strongest indictment in history. It, it has to satisfy the Richard Nixon standard. Richard Nixon was forced out of office not only by Democrats, but by his own Republicans. Because the evidence was so clear that he had obstructed justice, paid bribes, destroyed evidence. And um, and this indictment, if it doesn't meet that standard, if the evidence doesn't meet that standard, really presents a great danger to the rule of law, a danger of turning us into the kind of country where those in power can use the criminal justice system against those who are trying to win electoral results. Uh, but having read the indictment now, it's uh, somewhat stronger, at least one part of it, somewhat stronger than I had uh, initially believed it would be. And what part so, of it's stronger? Uh, the tape recording that uh, he participated in with a writer, apparently a guy who was writing a book about uh, Meadows, the chief of staff. Mm -hmm. And in it, uh, there's a discussion, apparently, about whether to attack Iran and in order to defend himself against the charge somehow that maybe he either wanted to do it or didn't want to do it, that wasn't clear. Uh, he brings out some papers and you apparently, according to the tape, you hear rustling of the papers and then he shows it to this unauthorized writer and other person and says, uh, this is classified secret. Uh, I could have declassified it when I was president, but I didn't. But but I can't use it because it's secret, and then apparently shows it to him. Now, what we don't know from the tape is whether he shows it to him to read or just shows it to him kind of to show off and say, see, I have this, I'm not going to let you read it, but here it is. So we don't know that. It might be important whether or not the unauthorized person actually was given the ability to read the, the, the details of the classified military plan to mm -hmm. possibly attack uh, Iran. We don't know the answer to that. So I would say we don't quite have a smoking gun, but we surely at this point have a gun. 